Now, while our area seeing some nice weather for the eclipse, a major storm is making its way across other parts of the country. For more than 30 million people in more than a dozen states, they are under weather alerts amid strong winds and some very dry conditions. ABC's Chuck Silverston has more. The weather now forecast to have an impact on viewing tomorrow's eclipse. I have been looking forward to this for months. I am a, an eclipse chaser. The path of totality will span the United States from Texas all the way to Maine. Favorable viewing conditions are forecast from Niagara Falls, New York, into northern New England. Businesses in Niagara Falls say they're getting calls from people all over the country. Wherever they were planning to go for totality, now the weather isn't looking that great, and our weather is looking a little bit better. The best weather for viewing the eclipse is predicted to be in cities like Burlington, Vermont, and Holton, Maine. To the south in parts of Texas, the forecast is calling for mostly cloudy skies, which could make viewing difficult. The storm system is a slow mover, which keeps the threat in play all weekend long. The bigger concern unfolds Monday, with large hail being the main threat for the crowds of people traveling home after the eclipse. But in cities in Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, along that path of totality, only a few clouds are expected, which means there's a good chance of seeing the eclipse. Honestly, being in totality is, is, I don't know, is undescribable. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York.